Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Democracy 3. My name, of course, is Obra the Potato, and today we are playing as Canada, and we're trying to make it completely religious. We're doing an alright job. We've got a couple of red markers, as you can probably see. When I say a couple, I mean a heck of a lot. Probably the most I've ever seen, if I'm uh, if I'm completely honest. Uh, but anyway, yes, we are. Uh, we're aiming to turn Canada religious. We're going to go for six likes on the video, so make sure to smack that like button. Make me a happy guy. And without further ado, let's get stuck in and see what's a happening okay so basically we've got four red dots over here three red dots over here one over here one over here one over here and uh, that's a that's a quick rundown that probably didn't give you very much information at all uh, and that's 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 my fault I will I will go into a little bit more depth homelessness is a uh, is a little bit of a problem for us at the moment there's there's not much we can really do housing expansion we probably shouldn't have accepted that but at the same time I'm not too bothered. It, it makes liberals not like us as much, but at the same time, hey ho, uh, unemployment we could we could definitely do with reducing. Uh, that's that's pretty much key here. Uh, GDP GDP is is proving to be a little bit is going down. We sort of need the global economy to crash, and that would actually solve quite a lot of our problems. So over the next couple of turns, I think are going to be is going to be the best opportunity we uh, we have to sort of. We sort of fix this country. Uh, cyclones are obviously a little bit of a problem. That that should hopefully go away uh, once we implement a couple of policies, and then it'll all be fine. Landmine ban. We're going to ban landmines because it's the right thing to do. GDP is continuing to fall. That's actually quite good for what we uh, for what we sort of want to happen. Uh, even though it does it does decrease our income, it is sort of a bit better. We sort of we sort of do need it. Uh, 47% of the election. Uh, 47% should there be an election. That's that's low. That is low, low, low. Uh, we need to introduce popular policies. There's really little little doubts about it. Uh, this organic farming subsidy, I think we're probably going to do. It's not going to cost us very much money at all, but at the same time, we're we're, we're going to go ahead and do it. So let's do that. It's going to reduce uh, obesity. Health is going to go up. Environmentalists are going to like us. Farmers are going to like us. That's great. That's really, really good. Uh, capitalists obviously aren't going to like us. So we're going to we're going to offset that by uh, by by introducing this trade council, which hopefully will will not make capitalists like us anymore. But we're uh, we're we're moving towards that. Hopefully, uh, the Battenberg Group are they going to become a little bit of a problem? Not at the moment. It's the Black Power Ar it's the Black Power Group that's the that's the problem, and the Patri the Patriot Army, which is another problem, which is great because I mean you just can't imagine uh, Canadians being into violence. That's just not anybody's idea of of Canada. Um, flash crash. So GDP plummeted, and as a result, it looks like health is is probably going to increase next turn. Uh, that's pretty good. Not much we can we can go wrong with that. We're at fifty two percent of the vote in an election. I hope, I hope beyond all hopes that we manage to scrape a victory. Like, that is, that is of utmost importance to me. Uh, we're going to get 17 political capital next turn. That's going to give us 34 political capital in total. Is there anything we really want to do with that? Not really. Not really at all. Um, homelessness, homelessness is still a little bit of a problem. That's not, that's not great. Obesity should be coming down soon. Organic farming subsidy will help with that. We're we're just gonna park it right in the middle because obviously we don't want capitalists to be super unhappy with us. Although, yeah, no, we'll just leave it there. We'll leave it there for now. Uh, it's not too much of an issue. Okay, race riots. There's how do we get that down? There's I just I don't even know. Alcohol abuse looks like it's finally starting to come down. Alcohol consumption looks like it's uh, it's going down as well. Can we up this a bit more? We could, we could, but we don't really want to. That's probably not the most effective use of our political capital. Organized crime. Is this coming down? It should be. It should be slowly. It, it, it definitely should be slowly, but, but that's the problem. It's coming down slowly. Um, so I think we're probably just going to save this political capital, and we're probably just going to go to the next turn, uh, unless there's there's really climate change adaptation fund is uh, is probably probably something that we could probably do very quite well. 
uh, we could probably do with reducing, uh, reducing, getting rid of these cyclones. So that's probably an option. Um, however, however, I think healthcare vouchers, healthcare vouchers are probably the right way to go. Let's let's try implementing healthcare vouchers. Okay. This should hopefully fund private healthcare. It's going to increase equality. It's going to increase middle earnings. We're going to go. We're going to try and aim for a 15 billion uh, per quarter spend expenditure on uh, on healthcare vouchers. That means that we're sort of going to be uh, we're going to be paying off our debts at a slower rate, but at the same time, uh, we're also going to bring the private sector into it, which is you know something that capitalists do quite like. I'm quite nervous about this count actually, so I hope we actually manage to win. It's going to be close. It looks like we might manage to scrape a win. Maybe? Yes, we managed to scrape a win, but only just. Only just. Wow. Uh, that was close, and I'm, I'm glad that that's the case. Okay, so this is, this is quite devastating, actually. There's a lot of people that didn't vote. There's a heck of a lot of people that didn't vote, actually. Roughly 30 to 40% of people just chose to not vote at all. That's just not good. That is not good. Uh, let's have a look at this. Health is up by 12%. Education has remained roughly the same, I think. Yeah. Um, crime is down by 3%. Violent crime is up. Violent crime should be coming down. It should be. It should be, but it, it hasn't yet. But it will. I promise you that. Poverty is down. Equality is down. The environment is up by a lot. That's good. We're, we're maxing out on the environment now, uh, but that's because GDP is so low. So hopefully we can get rid of that asthma epidemic at the moment and, uh, and just put a stop at it once and for all. Unemployment is up. Productivity is up. CO2 emissions are down. Energy efficiency is up. Racial tension is, is up by a heck of a lot. It's up by a lot. Tourism is down. Alcohol consumption is up a little bit. Food price is up, but it's come back down and it's continuing to go back down, I think. So that is, uh, that is not a problem. Uh, internet currency adoption is up by 1.27%, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, our currency strength is okay, I guess. It doesn't really matter. It um, doesn't really affect much in terms of the game. Unemployment is up, GDP is up, uh, health is up, and crime is down. That's quite good. That's uh, that's quite that's quite good. What should we do? Yeah, let's introduce this ban. We want to stay on the side of the liberals. That's That's pretty much pretty much essential the patriot army what on earth can we do the the patriotic army like or the the patriots army what what can we do there's there's not much that the the patriots the patriots care about in all honesty foreign aid not no, we don't really want to cancel foreign aid foreign aid's quite important actually uh patriots foreign investor tax breaks we could probably just cancel this policy actually because we don't really want that extra boost to our GDP. We sort of we sort of need to keep our GDP low at the moment. And I say that and I, and you know that's usually counterproductive, but at the same time, the GDP goes into such a lot and uh, especially sort of the environment stuff that it's really good that we've got a low GDP at the moment. So this asthma epidemic is going to be ending next turn. That's great. That's really really good. Uh, obesity, obesity is low, is is going down, but uh, it could be going down a little bit faster. And drug addiction, drug addiction is a little bit of a problem at the moment. Not much we can really do about it, uh, apart from I don't really know actually. Bumping up the funding to the state healthcare service. I mean, it would reduce drug addiction by a tiny little bit more, but it's not really worth paying all that political capital just to increase it by a tiny little bit more. Uh, climate change adaptation fund. Did we actually introduce that? I can't really remember, uh, if I'm honest. Where would that be? That would have been in public services. So that would be over here. So climate change adaptation. I don't think we did. I do not think we did at all. Uh, however, we probably are going to soon. Climate change adaptation. Yeah, okay, here. So that's quite an, uh, a popular policy. It's probably worth it, though. It's it's probably going to be worth it. Liberals, liberal membership. What's the liberal membership like? It's still too high. This race discrimination thing. Can we get can we get rid of this? I th I sort of think this would be good to get rid of. Uh, 
in fact, you know, we can scale it right the way back. Liberals will still like us. Ethnic minorities will still like us, but uh, but the but the boost to liberalism will be gone. So we're definitely going to do that, and that is actually probably the preferable option rather than actually cancelling it. So obviously, liberals still hate us. The the threat assessment is still there. It's still large. I'm surprised we haven't been killed already. Uh, but you know what? Live dangerously. Live dangerously. Uh, cyber warfare has ended, and this asthma epidemic has ended. That's going to provide a little boost to health. And uh, obviously, since the asthma epidemic has ended, I think that's going to be a little boost to productivity as well. Euthanasia. We're going to legalize euthanasia to make the liberals even more happy with this. Cyber warfare. I, I've never seen that before. I'm glad it's gone. I don't really want to see it again, but hey-ho. Uh, our budget deficit has gone up. What? What? We're running a budget deficit now? Well, that's worrying. That's very worrying. Our debt has increased a little bit. Uh, I'm not too worried about that because next turn, our income should be above our expenditure again. So that's that's basically no problem for us. Uh, liberals liberals are in the green. And and finally, we're starting to see a decrease in the, in the membership of the Freedom Army. I really, really hope that it continues that way because otherwise... Well, otherwise we'll be dead and uh, and we'll be in trouble and that's not great and we don't really want to to do that. So uh, so let's let's see if we can actually get this uh, this climate change adaptation fund. Well, actually actually, what if we don't? What if we don't do it? I'm not sure. I I, I don't think we will. That's a lot of political capital to invest and it's also a lot of money to invest. Up to 16 billion we can uh, we can end up spending. Homelessness. Homelessness. Why is this a problem? We should be we should be reducing homelessness at a massive rate. Basically, unemployment is the problem. That's that's basically the issue at the moment. Um, there's there's not much we can sort of do about that. Rail subsidies we could that would reduce unemployment further, but that would also mean we spend an extra two billion. I think that's probably a a good thing to do. And that's that's quite a uh, that's reducing unemployment by quite a lot. So I think we're probably going to go for that. Uh, money is not really an issue at the moment. We can always afford to take on a little bit more debt. We don't really want to, but if push comes to shove, you know we can do it. It's it's not a big deal. Uh, what else will reduce unemployment? Prisons, extensive rehabilitation. That's actually quite a good idea. Uh, obviously, liberals will like us a lot more for it. And that's proving to be the most uh, the most challenging problem at the moment is is getting is getting religious people to like us. So uh, so we'll definitely go and bump that up. And what else can we do? Import tariffs? No, we've already looked at that. Gambling? No, we're going to get rid of that soon. Uh, rural development grant? Well, wow. This clearly would reduce unemployment by a heck of a lot. And it would cost us like 200 million. And it would reduce unemployment by almost 20%. Heck yeah, we're doing that. Let's, uh, let's, well, we can't actually do that. But, uh, but definitely next turn. Definitely next turn. That is, uh, that is, that is happening. Superhero, crime and violent crime decreased. That's awesome. That is really, really good. We're currently running a budget surplus again. I knew it. It's happening. Thank goodness. Uh, very, very, very glad that that's the case. Now, let us find that uh, that rural development grant again. We will grant them more. We will we will boost that up to max, because that is going to reduce unemployment, and that is what we're sort of aiming for at the moment. Um, okay, good. The Freedom League membership is decreasing. It's decreased from about 200 to about 117. Uh, the threat is still there. Don't get me wrong. The threat is there. However... We uh, we've, we've we're clearly you know we're clearly reducing that threat over time. We're 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 gen we're definitely definitely doing that. Uh, that's ju that's just the case. Um, what I want to sort of think about cancelling is the uh, the maternity pay. That's the welfare fraud maternity pay here. Uh, uh, not the child benefit. Uh, maternity leave. How do we cancel maternity leave? Where the heck is maternity leave? Uh, would it be over here? I think it probably would be. Yeah, there we go. Maternity leave. Uh, how much political capital do we need to cancel this? 
Uh, it does reduce productivity, and we could do with a little extra boost to productivity. So that would be nice. Uh, so maternity leave, we're probably going to cancel at the start of the next episode. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, my name's been Obed Potato. If you've enjoyed, then please remember to like and subscribe. We're going to go for six likes, so smash that like button. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.